Alrighty, what do we have today? I spy tomb, that's always fun. Do we have any tomb synergies here? Nothing major looks like. Remodel uh, will be plus one point every time you play it. And then cage, uh, you play a cage whenever it pops, you'll get one point. That's a very slight synergy. And remodel you're playing with anyway, but now you extra play with it. What else is going on here? There is no village, looks like the big constraint. Does not mean you're not building here, because Artist looks like quite good non-terminal draw. So it's okay if you just draw your deck with Artist and then play a remodel at the end of the turn. Artist likes duration cards. It'd be easy to get a grotto in play, a cage in play, and then your first Artist is already drawn three cards. Um, I guess it's not getting up to much more than three. You could also play a Peddler and then play Artist, but you can't play Cavalry or Remodel before the Artist. Uh, abundance actually, I think it's kind of hard to get into play, because if you play Abundance and then you buy any action cards, it will unplay itself. Um, so maybe Abundance, but not reliably. Oh, you know what you could do? You could play like a Copper, a Silver, an Abundance, and then buy Cavalry and return to the action phase, and then play your Artist, and now Copper, Silver, and what, like whatever treasure you played will be in play. And those are buff artists as well. I think it's not going to be hard to make artists draw a bunch here. Uh, so some combination of stuff. Draw your deck with artists, play remodel. Seems like the game plan. Um, what else? Cavalry stockpile is a synergy to watch out for. I think in practice this doesn't really come up if both of you buy stockpiles, which you normally do because stockpile is good. But like suppose one player has a bunch of stockpiles and another one doesn't. Um, if you buy stockpile, unexile like five stockpiles then buy some cavalries to draw those stockpiles. Then you play your stockpiles, you buy another stockpile, and exile six stockpiles, buy some cavalries and draw those. Then you play your stockpiles, you buy a stockpile, you get where that's going. Um, pretty soon the cavalry and the stockpile pile are empty and you have like a million buys, and you could pile estates, or maybe peddlers here even. I think that often doesn't work just because if your opponent's taking stockpiles early, which tends to happen, then you're maxing out at like five or six stockpiles, which is not enough to get huge gains out of that effect. Um, but if, you know, if hard bot is light on the stockpiles, that's something to look out for. Um, hmm. Ooh, when did Colony and Platinum get here? I don't know that that changes very much about the kingdom. What are the prosperity cards that these are coming from? War Chest. War Chest is prosperity. Oh, and Peddler, too. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Oh my. So I'm pretty sure, shoot, pretty sure a lot of what I just said is just totally wrong. Because I didn't notice Reckless. Um, in my defense, I don't think it's visible from this view. It would be if I scrolled down, but like, why would you scroll down? You just gotta trust that everything of relevance is on the first page. Uh, so, so Peddler, in this game, when you play Peddler, you follow the instructions twice, and then when discarding one from play, you return it to its pile. So Peddler is a one-shot. You buy it, you play it once, you lose it. But it doubles all the effects. Most notably, that means Peddler is a village. You play one Peddler, you get two actions out of it. So you can play with multiple remodels or cavalry or whatever. That changes everything. Uh, actually, it doesn't change that much. <laughs> Probably you're still playing a bunch of artists and playing remodel. But now you can play multiple remodels. It also makes it easier to activate the artists even, because now you can play a peddler, play a remodel, then play an artist, or play a cavalry, then play an artist, and so these can also buff your artist now. Um, so I want peddlers. What's the quickest way to get four action cards in play? A pair of grotto, that's not grotto, that's fake grotto. A pair of grottos uh, would be two action cards, an artist is one, and then you play your remodel. So something like that, I think. I want to get to the point where I have two grottos, a remodel, and an artist, play some stockpiles by a peddler. Seems like a near-term goal. Uh, how do I open? Probably remodel on four, and then one of these three. I actually just, I could totally see opening like grotto stockpile or grotto cage or something. It doesn't have to be remodel. I think it's probably still remodel though. Trashing state obviously is a good thing. Um, all three of these I think have some merit. I'd love to get one copy of cage in play because artist would be happy about that. I, just, I want two grottos because you almost always want two grottos. And then stockpile is plus buy, which I want. It helps me buy this this stuff, which I want. And it's just generally a good card. Also, there's the cavalry synergy. I, I want all of these. Uh, which one gets me to the other ones the fastest? 
Um, hmm. I say Cade strikes me as probably the, the last of the three. Um, stockpile, I think, sets up for a pretty natural set of turn three and turn four buys. You have three buys, so you could buy one stockpile and exiling the first stockpile, then you can buy a cage and a grotto, and you're a happy camper. That being said, I also, presuming I don't bottom deck it, we don't have a remodel gain, so I don't need three buys. It could buy one, buy one, remodel into one. I'm leaning towards grotto, I think. Um, lowest chance of things bottom decking, like if I find grotto turn three, I can set aside two, guaranteed remodel doesn't miss. And I, I think it's a very close call, um, but I'm gonna say grotto, final answer. The second one here. Uh, a lot of the time, I think what you do with Grotto is you buy one on the first shuffle, turn one or turn two. Then the first time you find it, you set aside two and you buy your second Grotto, and then you're good to go. And from there on out, you start setting aside four. I think here, I want to buy the second one now. Just god dang it! <laughs> just so when I find my Grotto in my turn four hand, I can set aside all four cards with this Grotto that's in my hand and is on the bottom actually. Uh, Hardbot name something, I don't know, Cavalry, I guess. I don't know if War Chest is even better than it's opening with Remodel directly. Um, this is a little bit of a bummer. I guess I can take the Cage now. Okay, this is a happy hand, though. You want to find the Grotto with four Junk cards. It's really sad if you set aside something good with Grotto, because, um, it pitches it into the discard, so it's hard to find whatever you set aside. Which is, I mean, it's great at setting aside junk, it's just unhappy when you set aside anything else. Okay. Um, I think I set aside Max with Grotto, remodel a state into a cavalry, and that gives me two cards to set aside with the cage. Not the artist, no, I didn't want to draw you. All right. Oh, actually, oh, this is... <laughs> this is like the worst two cards I could have drawn, huh? Um, I guess two of the worst three. The, these bottom six had Artist Estate, uh, three coppers and a cavalry, I believe. I'd love to set aside the, the coppers. The reason I think I'd much rather have the estate in my deck than the coppers is because estate can be remodeled into stockpile, whereas copper cannot. Um, so I was really hoping to cage the coppers and then remodel the estates. Uh, obviously I don't want to set aside the artist because I want to play the artist. So I think probably what's happening this turn then is the cavalry dies because I need to get stockpile back into my deck and I'm in debt so I can't afford to buy the stockpile. I'm not sure cavalry is the best thing to name it. Probably is, but even if it's not, I think it makes more sense to name one thing consistently. Um, if you're naming one thing one turn, another thing a different turn, it's easy for them to get the card, all the cards they want on one turn or another. I don't know that Warchest is all that good here. I'm not convinced. Okay. Well, if I only set aside two, I can afford a peddler, right? That might be worth doing here. Hmm. Feels gross, because normally you're supposed to set aside four with Grotto. That's just that's the rule, you gotta do that. Um This is like the marshmallow test. You know, they they take little kids and they put a marshmallow in front of those kids and they say, Don't eat the marshmallow. And then some kids, the moment they leave the room, they eat the marshmallow. Some kids wait. And then Eventually, when they come back, they're like, you can eat the marshmallow, and the kid eats the marshmallow. And like, the longer the kid can wait before eating the marshmallow, it's supposed to be indicative of like how well that child will succeed in life. Grotto is like a marshmallow. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to say, no, I don't need the money now. I should set it aside, because if I have four cards coming in, I have four junk cards set aside, four cards coming in, I'm never going to dodge. My future turn is going to be happy. But sometimes you look at your hand and you're like, I really want the instant gratification of just setting aside the two cards. And I do really want that instant gratification of just setting aside the two cards. I mean, like I'm missing out on two draw, but Peddler is itself one draw. I think this is worth it. 
I'm going to eat the marshmallow. <laughs> Here we see the consequences of eating the marshmallow. It's okay though, because I can buy cavalry. And with the terminal space I have acquired via peddler, I can even play said cavalry. Let's buy a stockpile first. So these are back in my discard pile. Maybe I can even play them. Maybe that's too ambitious. We'll find out. Uh, playing Grotto would be bad because I've already got one in play. But the copper, look at the copper. It's going to buff the artist. Wow. Also, that, that was actually just like a ridiculously unlucky shuffle, right? Like, everything was on bottom. But even after the cavalry, the peddler and the remodel, if I found those, I could have played peddler, played remodel, and that artist would have drawn like six cards. And that would have been beautiful. Uh, bottom two are what? A stockpile and probably just a copper or something from Grotto, if I had to guess. I don't think I've trashed any copper. I think it's a copper and a stockpile. Might be worth buying cavalry here. Well, let me ask real fast if I can just do the cavalry. Like, I was talking about the, the cavalry stockpile shenanigans. Um, can I do that already? Hmm. So if I just like, play a bunch of stockpiles, buy a cavalry. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that works out already. I've got surplus buys from the peddler. I can play those. Um, how would that work? So I, got, I play stockpiles, I buy cavalry, I play stockpile, I buy stockpile, I buy cavalry. Um, I can buy some peddlers first, put those in the shuffle, and the peddlers draw themselves. Uh, the, the thing that's going to be a little bit tricky about that, I think, is the peddlers return to their pile at the end of the turn. So I could, I, I think I might be able to empty cavalry, stockpile, peddler here, but then the peddler unempties itself. So I'd have to empty cavalry stockpile and some third thing um and normally the mass stockpile stuff generates a bunch of buys because every stockpile is plus one buy cavalry is buy neutral but if i'm buying a bunch of peddlers in there to keep it working maybe that ends up being less buys than i am anticipating i don't know i'm just gonna these cards are strong i feel like if i click them a bunch of good things will happen um cavalry first Alrighty, now we do this. Seven's probably enough. Is there anything I'd like to put in the shuffle? I don't think artist pays for itself. It would draw a bunch here, but eight is a lot. Um, oh, I should undo this and play an action card first. Now I have uh, zero dollar peddlers. So like if I just do three peddlers, stockpile cavalry, I feel like good things will come my way. I just gotta watch out for the number of buys. <laughs> I don't think I wanna rebuy the stockpiles yet because I have some more that aren't exiled. Trigger a shuffle full of horses. Now I can rebuy the thingamajiggies. Um, <laughs> all right, that's all the peddlers that I can afford for the moment. This feels like good things are going to happen. I think I may have been slightly underestimating. I, mean, I already knew this is a strong combo I mentioned in the beginning, but the the peddlers are really greasing the wheels of this. Um, normally it's at least slightly awkward because you don't have unlimited actions to play every cavalry. The cavalry is just kind of end up being dead cards in your hand. You have to buy more cavalry to draw the stuff. But like it's a good combo even without the peddler. But the peddlers are just making this go hog wild. Um, <laughs> 
Am I not going to be able to draw the last few? Tragic. Absolutely tragic. Oh no. Well, I have so many stockpiles left unplayed. I'm so disappointed. Okay. Let's scan a remodel. And this is just eight provinces. It's probably not the most efficient number of points. Buying colonies would be better, but I like the idea of emptying the provinces. Oh, I could have emptied the curses too. Big mistake. Yeah, so. Uh, fortunately, my blunder of failing to buy curses didn't cost me. I'm still getting the hang of the, the curse buys. I've, I've underestimated those historically, but I'm, I'm coming around. Um, I don't understand the war chests at all, really. Um, I mean, they're okay. There's just such really strong stuff here. Um, I think I think war chest is not the, the move. Um, I think I underestimated this kingdom. Like I looked at this and I was like, this is a strong kingdom. I think this is a really strong kingdom. And the the cavalry stockpile peddler thing it was just like even stronger than I gave it credit for. So I think that the goal here is just like get four actions and play and you win the game, I think, is basically this kingdom in a nutshell. And I wonder probably a way to do this in like six to seven turns. Um, I mean, surely, surely there's a way to do it in seven, um, like with good draws. Realistically speaking, I also think it's true that um, seven or six turns seems feasible. Um, maybe remodel is too slow, maybe you just go straight into grottos. Um, I'm not really sure, like, grotto stockpile? Hmm. I want to retry this really fast. Alrighty, let's try this again. Uh, I'm gonna skip the artist and just try to make a beeline straight for the cavalry stockpile stuff. See if that works any better. The remodel misses, I am sad. Two peddlers, and could this work next turn? Is that too ambitious? Peddler, cavalry, peddler, horse. Um, do I remodel into stockpile and buy cavalry, or do I remodel into cavalry directly? In theory, like you'd want to gain the four off the estate because it costs less money. But if I do that, I have to buy stockpile plus cavalry anyway. So I think the answer would be stockpile first, on exile, into actions, buy cavalry. Okay, so we go one peddler, one stockpile, one cavalry. Gonna have to be one more cavalry here. I can do a peddler first. Annoyingly, the peddler is on the very bottom. This is not working at all, and I am upset. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and unexile these. That draw could have been a tad better. This is probably going to be enough. I think this hasn't gone quite as well as it could have, just because the peddlers being on bottom means I'm not able to play all the stockpiles before rebuying, rebuying stockpiles, and I'm not getting the full value out of them. Oh, 
Oh, this was a mistake. Uh, <laughs> there's no more cavalry's left. Uh, oopsie daisy. I should go ahead and play that last horse. Not enough draw to get the last set of stockpile, but still enough for all the colonies. Not all the colonies, all the provinces. Um, good enough. Yeah, so turn six is pretty doable. I think with a better draw there, you could probably eke out a bit more than eight provinces. Um, I suspect that you could probably do a bit better than what happened here. Uh, this last shuffle, I think the cards lined up a bit awkwardly uh, right as I was entering the first reshuffle. Um, all the peddlers being on bottom meant I had to just like buy cavalry, buy cavalry, buy cavalry just to get that first set of stockpiles back into play. Whereas if I had found peddler, then play cavalry, then get horses, I think those first few stockpile rebuys go more smoothly. I have to buy fewer cavalries at the front end, and then I probably have another cavalry or two left in the back end to maybe play uh, a few more stockpiles, I think, possibly. I'm no, I don't know. I just I had a suspicion that it was, it was working out poorly. Um, but yeah, this still seems sufficient.